What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Mark, the chosen one. Let's just get right into the fucking video. The new wheels are on the car. Let's see how they came out. LMRs. These are uh, brushed clear centers with polished hardware and obviously polished lip. Uh, they're 19 by 10 and a half. I don't know the offset yet. I haven't measured it, but it's the same offset as my old LMs were on the on the purple one. Now I know what you guys are thinking. I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, fuck, dude. I miss the full polished LMs. That was the hardest setup on the 34 that I've ever seen. And, you know, it's just something really, really special about the LMs that I'm going to miss. And, and I know you guys are going to miss too. And, you know, it's just like, I kind of wish I had LMs with LMRs. In fact, what's this? LM? Guys, I had to get you on the two sides here. I couldn't decide. I could not decide whether I wanted LMRs or LMs. So I got fucking both. If you like one side, come take a look on one side. If you like the other side, it's just a hop and a skip away. This guy's so fucking extra. Oh my God. It's just, it's a hop and a skip away. But yeah, so this is a brushed, um, brush clear centers with high polished lips. And this is the classic setup of the um, of the full mirror polish setup that was legendary on the old GTR. And uh, fuck, dude, this just looks hard, super hard, super hard, super hard. Ron really fucking killed it with the set. I mean, look at the fucking. Obviously, there's no camber plates um, installed yet, so I need to adjust the camber still but it is like money money it's just like a little too i mean this isn't even a finger gap it's pretty bad so ideally when my ikea formula camber plates come in i'm going to camber it a little bit more and slam it more and it should give me the clearance what i'm what i need i gotta go like probably negative three eight here just to avoid hitting this shit but it looks hard oh my god killed it you fucking killed it on the set fucking killed it and for free too, of all things. Oh, really? Fucking amazing. About that. <laughs> My uh, bank wiring details. Oh. Are already okay, I'll put it in the description, guys. Every if any, if every one of you guys just sends three dollars to Ron, he'll have fucking ten racks overnight, if you guys can. Um, but damn, guys. Fuck. Oh my gosh. So, the thought process. Why I chose two different wheels. <laughs> one i couldn't let go of the lms fully polished lms that was literally the best wheel that i've ever seen on a 34 and the way that ron um, built them it was like unbeatable so i couldn't 
not have those wheels on this car. But I also didn't want to do the same exact setup, like all four. So I was like, wait a minute. Why don't we just do fucking LMs on one side, LMRs on the other side. And that way I get best of both worlds. They're both forged in Japan. They're both JDM. Um, and I actually get best of both worlds. So I'm just fucking in love with the way it turned out. We saw this a little bit earlier in the sun and oh my God, it just was fucking gleaming, gleaming. But um, when you guys are watching this video today, you guys will see many, many videos of this car at 405 at the Skyline meet. But this is insane at the, at the Pit and Paddock Skyline meet tonight. But holy shit, I'm in fucking love. I'm in love. I'm in love, I'm in love. You guys tell me what you think, please, in the comments. I'm gonna revert to the rest of this video um, because I'm sure a lot of you are asking, how much do these wheels weigh? Is there a weight difference? So let's go back into how this came to be and before we mounted these in the first place. Let's roll it back. So you guys saw the wheels on the car, two different sets, obviously it looks hard as fuck, but I know what a lot of you are probably thinking. Does it weigh the same, huh? <laughs> uh, I, know what, <laughs> I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. I know it was one of the first things I was thinking. Are they gonna be different weights? Is this gonna be an engineering motorsport issue? Is this gonna be a problem with shifting too much weight on one side? Well, let's fucking see. Let's go see the crew, man. We haven't seen them in a minute. Boy, Calvin and Will. We haven't seen these beautiful men in a minute. Look at them. I was just talking to you guys up next door. You guys are the shit. And I don't know what I would do without you guys in terms of helping me out. And I appreciate all the hard work you guys do. Wow, thank you. Yeah. That was yeah. Usually I get a kiss after some shit like that, but that's all good. Sure. Yeah. I usually get kissed first too. Oh yeah? I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking find out. We got a scale. We got the gentleman over here. Let's, um, yeah, let's weigh it. Let's check the LMs, LMRs, right? These are the LMRs. What is this? 53.2? Am I reading that right? Yeah. It's upside down. Okay, 53.2. All right, take that off. Let's put the LMs on. 53.2. Please, daddy. What? You're not touching it, right? 53.2. Uh, okay guys that means that only means one thing me and my boys are gonna rob a semi truck with three fucking civics i was i was actually hoping not hoping but if there's like half a pound difference then i'll decide if i'm gonna put it on driver's side or not just in case i fart or take a shit it really depends but since they're the same weight that's fine so i have a question for you yes sir which wheel would you put on which side which wheel do you like I'm asking you, what, what would you do? I like LMs better, so I'll put on the driver's side. Okay, so same. <laughs> <laughs> I just, the, the, well, the thing for me is polished LMs, that was like ridiculous on the, so I want to see that shit. Do you even like the fact that I did two wheels? Be honest, because you're honest. No. Why? Oh, I'm just not a fan of. Okay, so you're not a fan of the mismatching, or you're not a fan of LMRs? I'm not the biggest fan of LMRs either. So is it that, or is it the mismatch? Both, both but... Because the mismatch, your, your human eye will never see both, yeah. all, ever, at the same time. Unless in the picture. So, what's the problem? I mean, there's no problem, I just, I just wouldn't do it. Even though the fact that the same weight, and they're both Japanese, and they're forged, Japan forged? Yeah. Okay. Guys, I feel like that's going to be a popular opinion because I'm doing something that most people would disagree with. Hell, maybe part of me disagrees with it too, but here's the thing. I can't decide what wheels to put and I want two different sets of wheels. They're both BBSs. They're both JDM. They're both forged. And Ron can give you the whole fucking catalog book naming of all this fucking parts. But that's why. And hopefully it hits. Do you even like the mismatch shit? Huh? Do you even, nah. Why? Is it because you don't like LMRs? No, no, no. It's just, you just don't like mismatch? Yeah. It's just too wild. Uh, too what? It's too crazy. But let's say someone forced you to mismatch. Yeah. Hold, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Let me finish my question first. Because it's, it's, let me just finish the question. Let's say someone forced you 
hey, look, Calvin, you need to run mismatch wheels, okay? Isn't it better that I have two BBSs and LM and LMR at least? It's not like a, you don't know, a Volk and a fucking work. So can you give me some points there? Yeah. Okay. Can you give me points that they, that they weigh the same? Yeah. Does it look like it's going to clear my new endless brakes? No, it's the shape. Is it really tight? Yeah. yeah. I don't think this it's going to... This is one millimeter different from this. Less? More. It has more clearance. How the hell are my endless brakes going to fit then? Don't you guys love when Ron says something and just dips? Oh, I know you guys missed the gay shit. We got to go hella slow because the fender might land on it. Oh, shit. How's a fit, man? Is it weak? Damn! <laughs> the tire is what sets it off the tire side. Don't tell Ron he hit it right on the first hit. Guys, by the way, shout out to Stan for always hooking it up with the Toyos. It weighs 53.2, both of them. So Moment of truth here. So this is one millimeter less aggressive, right? You can't even, one millimeter is so small. Yeah, you can't even tell, right? Can't even tell. This looks more aggressive. Either yeah, way, one millimeter more maybe that one's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of those. Damn. I can't really get a good picture of this, Stand but back. we... Stand back. Yeah, but I mean, the, the lighting and stuff, we'll pull this bitch out later. You can't go wrong with LMs, dog. Let me see. Guys, with every order Ron just said, you guys get a free center red, free set of red center caps. So hit them up. Oh yeah, you guys gotta hit promo code Pterodactyl Tactics forever. <laughs> All right, this goes this. Like this, like this. Has to be parallel with this. But he has to take these off anyway. Well, you got to take these off anyway, right? Yeah. Red always works, bro. It's going to make the LMR look way better. That's for sure. It's cool, guys. <sighs> Update, we lowered the car. Let's fucking see how it looks, guys. I don't want to give that much props to Ron, but he killed it. First time, this isn't, we didn't do a lot of cut and takes and oh dude it didn't fit let's do it we didn't do any of that he did it right and he did it tight and it looks perfect so if you guys want your shit done right go to ar and have him fucking build you a set these are going to cost about twenty two thousand dollars more than your average set but it's fucking <laughs> worth it because you got to buy a bunch of sets just hit up ron he'll hook you up tell him give, get, tell him to give you the mark discount he'll give you the sponsor discount right ron you'll give him the sponsor price right all right, he's going to hook you guys up, so just hit him up for that. Um, but yeah, holy fuck. Holy fucking shit. It looks fucking hard. Amazing. We are going to get this car ready to get towed. I can't drive it yet. It's not registered. Um, but we're going to get it ready to get towed to the pit and paddock meet. And yeah, guys, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button for your boy. It's going to help the channel grow. I'd appreciate it. We got some crazy shit planned for this car. This car is going to be like almost fully done by the time the registration shit comes in. So just stay tuned. I got some super shit coming up too. You guys don't want to miss a thing. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Much love. Catch you on the next one. Peace.